Yeah. Verse number 13. This is the spirit of truth, man. Do you hear me good? The spirit of truth. See, this is why when you go to a place, they don't have no spirit of truth. Amen. Are you listening to me? Help me, Jesus. Amen. Thank you, Lord Jesus. Oh, help me here, Lord. Well, I'll tell you what. Look, look at John 14, 17. Before we get there, because he's still going to deal with it. Here, Lord. See, then we, we, look, this, we preach that here. Amen. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. Then I will tell you about, I ain't talking about nobody, brother. Different than that, we all think still the Bible. And we talk about the brother, he was talking about that the boy had long. I said, the Bible says it's a shame for men that long. Mm -hmm. He said, well, he got some that, that don't change the truth. Amen. 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 I'm not going to want I ain't going to be shaking. I'm going to be talking to you now because I challenged this brother right about it the other day. And I said, can I go? Well, he don't lie. Ain't no sense in giving that which is holding to the dog. Mm -hmm. Amen. What the Bible tells us. Amen. Are you listening to me? Help me do what I said. Lord. It says the long hair for one of the glory. Amen. Amen. Hello? Amen. He said, well, he's, well, he took another puff off his cigarette. Oh, mm -hmm. he just. <laughs> 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 I was like, I don't want to tell him, brother. I said, I ain't right, talking about you all. Praise God. Amen. When you get to know the truth, you feel it. It, it, it will draw it up to where it supposed to be. That's right. That's right. <laughs> Somebody come and get up. Are right, you listening? Pray to God. Are right, you listening? Amen. We'll, we'll get that in just a minute. Can, can y'all give me a minute? Yeah. Amen. 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 Let's listen to the truth. Now, this is in Red White Baptist. Mm -hmm. John 14, 17. Mm -hmm. Even the spirit of truth, whom the world cannot receive, because it seeth him not, neither know, what? No. Know it. Don't know him. But you know him, for he dwells with you and shall be in you. Amen. Come on, give God some amen. amen. See, you got people that think they're going to Look, they don't know him. You tell the truth to get mad with you. Amen. Hello. Now, how many people been coming here a while? They'll figure out a way to get mad with me. Mm -hmm. Yes, they will. Right. You see, let me just tell you this. Can I talk to you just a second? Amen. Now, I'm just new to this, for example. Here, me and, now I'm the pastor here, yeah. and I'm preaching, me and brother here have been together for a while. Now, how some broke down, low risked person who came here and tell you something about me, and now you, you, you got, now, they, they ain't in the truth, right. they don't want the truth, but then they can tell him, I'm just new to him, for example, oh, yeah. and now you upset with me. But yet, you can go to your sister's house or your brother's house. Let's say your sister. And we told what the Bible said. We don't wear anything that pertains to men. They was under the teaching. You said they have a good time doing They type men or something. And you tell me the truth. You's a liar. Right. Hmm? You's a liar because, wait a minute, I'm upset with you and you say you was you should be in the truth. Right. Hmm? <clears throat> Hear me? But now you marry me, but you don't even know what the truth. The Bible said prove what? Oh, All things. Amen. Are you listening to me? Mm -hmm. Now how can you do that? Amen. Something's wrong with your truth. Amen. I said something's wrong with your truth. Amen. Listen to what I'm telling you so you understand what I'm saying. Look at what it says in Galatians 4.16. And watch what Paul said. Mm -hmm. Just, and I'm, I'm going to work with you just a little bit here. Amen. Are you listening to me? Help me, Jesus. Galatians 4 and verse number 16. If you can look in your Bible, just a minute. Just Amen. like just like you in school and you taking your finals. Amen. Hello. Just like you in school, you taking your finals. You shut everything out. Look what, what the, can, can I talk to you just a second? Look what Paul was talking about. You got Galatians yet? Amen. He says. Uh, Galatians, let's look at the 14th verse. I mean, 15th verse. Can you do that? Amen. Just for a second. He said, where is then the, bless, the blessings 
you speak of. For I bear you record that if it had been possible, you would have plucked out your own eyes and have given them to me. Yes. This is the compassion they show for. See, because sometimes people are okay until they run upon their horse sister, their horse brother, and then they sit right there and tell you something. They might impress you with some things, but they don't impress me with nothing. Amen. Hmm? You impress me with God. Right. Amen. Amen. Well, listen, hear me, Jesus. What would he say? He said, he said, am I therefore become your enemy because I what? Yeah. Look, give God some amen. Yeah. Huh? He said, look, I know where's the place. I know you would have plucked out your life. Wow. He said, but am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you the truth? Because as long as you tell the people the truth they want to hear, it's okay. But you tell the truth they don't want to hear. Amen. That's right. Uh -huh. Thank you, Lord. Thank you, Lord. See, when you go to Ken Cox, the devil sits right in front of you with their tight pants on, cut the hair, put all their fingernail polish, which some people still do it. Your mama if you won't tell you I'll snatch your fingernail right off by the roof. Mm -hmm. Hmm? What they got to do? You go to the hospital, have no value to it. You can't wear all your old fake jewelry up in the hospital. You can't have nothing. You're going to take it off. Put it in a bag. Huh? Even if you got some gold false teeth in your mouth, if they going to do a procedure, you taking them out and putting them down in your pocket because the naked gown they give you don't have pockets in them. Now, where you, where you, where you, little stuff? You go, okay, if you're in the hospital for terminal cancer, then you gonna call your manicure in and make sure your fingers look good? Mm -hmm. You little devil, you. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. I said, you little devil. Amen. Thank you, Jesus. And most people around you are devils. Amen. Are you listening to me? That's right. Listen to me, church. You gonna seek the truth. Amen. The truth yes. will liberate you. Amen. If you look at John 8 and 31, he said, if you continue in my word, mm -hmm. I mean, then are you my disciples indeed. Yes. Yes. Indeed, that means you got to show something. Amen. Hmm? Amen. Got to show something. Amen. Show something. Let me tell you something. You know what the problem a lot of the young folks in this house, they, they, they look up to their parents that's no good mm -hmm. for them. Are you listening to me? Let me tell you something. I never asked my mama. Let me tell you something. You go to walk and crooked right in front of me. Right. Then, hey, that's it for me and you. Yeah, I'm not asking you about nothing no more. Amen. Are you listening to me? Right. I need you to chastise me and get on me. Right. Hello? Not you chastising me. Amen. Hello, you. Amen. I ain't giving you no false information. Amen. Are you listening to me? Amen. Then that's when he said in John 8. And uh, 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 praise the Lord. I mean, John uh, uh, 8 there, and, and verse number 32. Right. Amen. You shall know the truth, yes. but you got to continue in it. Amen. Right. You see, because of some people, they might have started off by and by to get mad with you by telling the truth. Right. Why? It's just like Paul asked the Galatians because they begin to get weary of Paul telling them the yes. truth. Yes. And when you get weary of people telling the truth, you, won't, you are. You, you are susceptible now for somebody to bring some information to give you against them because the devil wanted to deceive you. Amen. 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 The devil is diametric opposed against Amen. truth. Amen. Amen. Hmm? He is diametric opposed. Amen. Why would you get mad with me? Amen. You know good and well. You're looking at me and you have got mad at me for telling the truth. Wow. And you, and the first time you get mad at me telling the truth, you are your brains and your little devil heart is trying to find something that you can condemn me with. Amen. Wow. Hmm? Amen. You look dirty little dog, you. Wow. Are you listening to me? Look at John 8 and verse number, let's 44 here. Can you deal with me just for a minute? Can you please deal with me for a minute? I don't care if you're my wife. She tell you she come tell me some stuff. I said, let's see what the Bible says. Amen. Are oh, you listening to me? I'll play that stuff. My wife, my wife ain't my second boy. Amen. Huh? Right, right. Hello here. Yeah. My wife, now, now some people, they, they husband or son, they get to be their first boy. Oh. Hmm? Are oh, you listening to me? 
John 8 and verse number 43. Do you see that in your Bible? I but I want to look at 42. He said, Jesus said to them, if God was your father, you would you would love who? Me. Now, if God was your father, why you hate me? That's right. Hello here. Now, Paul said, let my devil become your enemy because I tell you the truth. He says, Jesus said that. You said Jesus said it. If God were were as condition with your father, you would love me. For I proceeded forth and came from God. Neither came I of myself, but he what? Give God to me, man. Amen. 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 He said, Yes. Bless you, Lord. You know, I'm always dear to a person. This brother worked for a lot of people, his guy, brother, his guy, they called him Joe and all this kind of stuff. But he do bring people. It's Amen. people in the working place here. They don't bring nobody. Well. Amen. The dude, they already, if it's a woman, she bring a man, he already laid in bed with her. Yeah. If it's a man, she, he already, are oh, you listening to me? If it's a woman, all kind of stuff. They mean because they don't have no light. Yeah. Hmm? They have no light. They have no light. No light. You know, anytime, I don't care who you are, do you tell me that I'm working with somebody and I'm going to go out to dinner with them? Hello? I ain't got there for no son. I don't work with you. What you call out of? Uh, what you call the people that work with you? Co workers. Hmm? But you got people that you can go out with them for the hell with you. You a saint. But I get with you where you will. I'm going to go do this. Because they don't have no life. I don't care what you tell me. Something is wrong with your life. You got the wrong life. I ain't going, I ain't done one hour more. Hello, you. Thank you, Jesus. Thank you. If you went out with your co workers, I ain't going, well, I'm going to go out with you. You got your pants, tattoos all around your face. Because <laughs> sometimes you be trying to connect. You know, call it connecting flight. Mm -hmm. You know, when you go to Atlanta, you got a connecting flight mm -hmm. on to New York. <laughs> you understand? Know what connecting. Trying to connect something, amen? Are you listening to me? Help me go. Watch what I'm telling you. I see you understand what I'm saying. Because he says, why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. See, because his people, once you tell them the truth and they get upset with you, they can't hear. Because they're not trying to find something like, you know, you got these, what you call this thing, cola guard? You know what I'm saying? You can do this cola guard now. You got to get a scribe and sink off, and they dig through your mess trying to find some blood. Yeah. Yes. Hmm? Mm -hmm. You understand what I'm saying? Amen. Come that's what you do. Once you, once you not look. You've been there all the time. He's waiting. I would have gave you this. I would have done this for you. He taught the relation. But now, wait a minute. Am I therefore, he said, am I therefore become your enemy because I tell you? Let's check it out. Amen. Can we do that? Amen. Amen. You understand what I'm saying, Mother Amen. He said, why do you not understand my speech? Even because you cannot hear my word. You are a who? Brother William quoted the scripture, you know, do it out of Romans 10 and 
and protein I mean, yeah. all the time when you come up there about you got to have a preacher. Yeah. Yeah. Amen. Are you listening yeah. to me? Yeah. Uh, well, my sister, my preacher. Okay. Oh, wow. That's against the Bible. Yeah. 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 